it's another day and we're on the mountain again working. I can't wait to get started on that backsplash in the kitchen right now. It's going to be my next project. And we're also going to install this termination for the range hood, the outside bit for the 10 inch hole I cut in the house yesterday. Hope it fits. I would like to get that covered up. Mary's here. Property bronze. Hi. <laughs> she made quick work of the decision of the black coppery looking or white trim pieces that will basically make this work out with these other tiles. She looked at it for about one second and said, <laughs> white, done. So I love that. That's nice. Quick like decision. sometimes homeowners will take days to deliberate and think <laughs> and never make a decision. So thank you. <laughs> So it's important if you didn't know that the tile goes up under these little fins or ears yeah. so that it spaces it out the correct amount off the wall with the tile. You know, don't be tempted to break these little ears off. They're actually important. It, that's what the, the thing snugs up to. I heard that. You line up all the screw heads, like all vertical or all horizontal. What? Like you can't leave them all crooked. You gotta pick one Shut off. Shut up, whatever. Yeah, man. you gotta line them the same. Whatever. I'm, my OCD's gonna kill me if you don't do that. On a serious note, yeah, uh, we did tell the electrician to leave those off so we could do our final coat of paint, and then we told him we'd just put them on. Yeah. All right, bro, <laughs> let me help you out here. <laughs> Get one, off of it, it looks fine. turn back. It looks fine. <laughs> right there, okay. See how much better that is? Nobody's ever gonna notice that, dude, <laughs> ever. I can't even stand up on this hill, I gotta get this. Right? Ooh. Well, we gotta get up there. That's not that far. A funny thing when you think about it is no matter if we put the vent in first or this cap, there's no way to really seal the connection between the two. We just let them overlap as much as possible, which in this case is about an inch and a half. We had first tried cutting this with some snips and that was extremely difficult. We swapped that out for a metal cutting disc on a grinder and it made light work of shortening this thing up. We also decided to cut out some siding and put a flat decal block in with a piece of flashing so that this vent would sit flat against something instead of having huge gaps where the siding overlapped. Stick this thing. Now that is the largest vent we've ever put in a house for anything. Hey, if this won't carry the bacon smoke out, I don't know what will. <laughs> yeah. right. Which way does it go? Like this? It's Other way. I can see what I'm doing here. You smoking that screw? <laughs> yeah, it makes me nervous being up here. Alright, now can we do it? Please? We're going to be using yeah. this Maypie pre-mixed thin set mortar adhesive. Sometimes the hardest part of the job is just getting the lid off the bucket. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Hate to admit it. Doing a tiled backsplash can be very tedious because it's in a highly visible location, like you're staring right at it when you're at the counter. So that makes it a little more tedious and a little more time consuming. So if you're doing a tile backsplash for yourself, my main advice is to not be in a rush. Another thing we're doing that I mentioned before is we're using this tile adhesive or mastic and we're doing that for a reason. We're not mixing up mortar like we do for floor tile, and that's that the mastic has a lot longer working time, meaning it dries a lot slower, so you have a lot longer working time with the same consistency mortar, which is important. You can also tile out a larger area on the wall, and it doesn't dry up before you get a chance to stick tile on it. 
this particular tile cut really easily with a wet saw or even with a grinder. We've had tiles in the past though, especially glass tile that doesn't cut so easily or more specifically it breaks easily when you cut it and sometimes you need a special blade to cut that. I'm noticing a lot of these are kind of bowed That's on the, the ends. That's they bow out. It's cut. Yeah. They say dark colors are hard to make look good when you roll them. Yeah, definitely. So I guess you're gonna roll that? No. Dude, they make fun of me as it is when I do <laughs> when I do the light colors. They make fun of me. If I do that, I'll never hear the end of it, dude. Well, I, mean, I don't want to be the end of everybody. Yeah, but you're the boss. It doesn't matter, dude. You can say, yeah, it looks like crap. I did it. You yeah. Your job. But if not, stay All of the mom. internet? You forgot about all the internet. No, we won't say a word, bro. <laughs> we don't ever make fun of you. You don't. The whole world on the internet. That's what I'm saying. Dude, they love you, bro. <laughs> they love you. They're like, we love Eric. He's the best. You can roll it. No, come on. You I think you're actually better at this than me. You're yeah. really good at it. Yeah, what? I see you sneak. Look at that. Nice spread, bud. Thank you, sir. If you're trying to pick a tile for yourself for your own backsplash, I'd recommend measuring the space you have between the top of your counters and the bottom of your upper cabinets. And usually it's about 18 inches. You wanna pick a tile that when you stack it up with the spacing equals out to about 18 inches or maybe a little more so you have almost a full piece at the top. You don't end up with a little sliver rip throw in there that's about impossible to put in and maybe doesn't look too good. camera got bumped <laughs> it was it was centered when i started Great. oh oh well that was, that was gonna be good too. this is the best part of this is like we did our best by buying this half inch piece of trim to make this work out on block work i'll call it yeah you know tile work we still came up a little shy. Whoops. <laughs> hey now, man, I had that so just perfect. So we're gonna have to do a little notch and rip across here and we're hoping not to, but we're just gonna do it really neatly and nicely. Whoo, pressure's on. Yep, no pressure. Mm. My ankle expired, bud. <laughs> I thought you were just showing off some leg. No. It's <laughs> killing me. Come with me. Watch this. Jono does something pretty helpful near the end of jobs. Like, I think he's ready to be done, right? <laughs> he always goes around and makes a list and I, I never really even have to ask him to do that, but I just took a picture of it. And this has got pretty much every bit of everything we need to finish the whole house. That's the master list. So are you gonna hang on to that? I think I'm gonna give it to your brother. Okay, that's a mistake, I'll tell you. <laughs> so why don't you give it to me? Okay. I'll, I'll put it in my truck. But you might want to give your brother a screen time tonight. All right. Y'all, uh, have a good ride. I'm going to show... You're going to forget. No, I'm going to show you where okay. I'm putting it, all right? See right there? No. Right there. But y'all need to check that list before you come home or before you come to work. I'll check it. I'll check it twice. Jamie said he'd be here about uh, Firehouse 30. Oh, lunchtime, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. That was pretty good. Guys out? Yeah, 
420. Oh, it's 420 on 420? You know where we gotta go? Home. Alright. Pick up my kid from baseball. Rock and roll. What's he doing? Jamie's about to drive the trash trailer off the side of the mountain currently. It's been another great day on the mountain, guys. Yeah, man. Thanks for it. building with us. We'll see you again tomorrow. We're going to do a bunch more stuff to try and finish this place up. So they can move in. Yeah. And the Chief's coming tomorrow. That's cool. Chief of the Eastern Band of the, of the Cherokee Nation is coming here to check us out. Sweet. Guys, have a great day. You ever notice the, the paint roller sound on a wall? It's like one of those ASMR sleep time yeah, it makes a, it's a real soothing sound. I it could, is. I could sleep all night to that sound. <laughs>